great win, but you know, what were you thinking sort of three quarter time when you had it all ahead of you? Yeah, I think um, we knew we hadn't played our best footy up until that point, but we were um, we were putting up the fight, and Fremantle were you know unbelievable that day. They came they came in and they were ready to go. So, I guess three quarter time we knew we um, we Doc said it, but we've got to go another gear, and and we've got those gears to go. Um, and he could see we weren't playing our best footy. And it was just kind of making sure technique, get your head over the footy, take those ground balls, drive our legs, and um, yeah, and obviously came out firing in that last quarter. Was it? No, I think I think um, having that belief in our team and and, and and I guess as an individual in that situation, knowing that you can get yourself out of there, um, puts us in good stead coming finals um, and coming towards the back end of the season. So I think it's better to be in a situation like that than potentially being up by you know lots of goals and and not having to kind of have to fight. So. And um, when there is a little bit of a crisis, there is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a goal in the opening seconds of the final quarter, did you then sense, OK, um, we're going to be right here? Well, I know, I'm <laughs> talking to her post-game, um, she actually hurt her finger early on in the game. She's like, normally that doesn't put me off, but for whatever reason, um, I'm like, mate, if that was your off game, I'll take that every week. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just actually walking around with the, the, the bigger head hat. Nah, and, nah. Uh, <laughs> turned from an All-Australian defender into a goalkeeper. Does that surprise any, any of you guys? Uh, transformation? I don't think so. I think um, in-house, you know, she's our captain, she's our leader and, and the way she trains is the way she plays and she's a super competitor that, that doesn't ever like to lose, wants to always win and, and do the best. So what we see, um, we see that on the, on the track all the time. So it's, um, it's, it's great for us to have that versatility and be able to use her as a utility and, and, and you know, Show up on on. She loves to show up on big occasions, but that's that's her all the time. I think uh, just back to your point about close games. I think Doc said after the Giants game, yeah, he'd almost rather have those games because of you know that being a, a little finals type atmosphere. Do you, do you feel you've been part of a lot of great teams? Do you feel like you're building towards something similar? A hundred percent. I think um, I think Doc Doc said it at. Pre-game, he goes, uh, you know, these last two weeks have been great, but he goes, my favourite games are round one, round two, round three. So I know in terms of that, that's that's where footy or finals footy is. It's 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 competitive and it's hot and it's heated um, and your back's against the wall when it's a fight. And uh, so I think that's the best preparation that we can have um, leading into this week's game. Have you had to do much to maintain that belief that you've had in years gone past? You, you did well to keep the core of the... Of team together but has, that, has, there, has there been any sort of challenge there to, to keep that same belief or does it feel like the same team? No, it's definitely a different team. Um, we've got new personnel, we've got new players that are that are among us but I think that uh, the culture that Doc and Phil and Chelsea have instilled in this team and, and within our four walls is is we want to be the best in the competition um, and, and that driving force is still there so um, for the new ones coming in you know, the buy-in has been there and, and I think that just helps that grow. And Joe, what did you, uh, what did you sort of pick up in the final term when you're sort of sitting back across half-back and watching it all unfold? How did you set up defensively? Because the ball just seemed to live in your forward half. Yeah, uh, that was, uh, I guess, a big focus for us defensively is can we play footy in our forward half and can we lock it in? Um, so don't give them that outlet kick. Don't let them get behind us. So um, for us defensively, it was can we just press... Um, and stay up high uh, and obviously try and cut off the ball as high up the ground as possible, which I thought um, we did really well. And if you're not, I mean, you, you're in the premiership conversation anyway as the, the reigning champions and now second on the table. What does it mean this week going up against Brisbane? Oh, it's a huge game. Brisbane, to me, have been the been the standout in the competition this season. Um, so, so hopefully we can, you know, come up against the best, and and we know it's going to be a fight, and it, it's going to be anyone's game come Friday. So, but you know, they you can see their percentage, you can see the way they're playing. They're playing great, great footy. So, hopefully, um, we can see how we go down there. It's a statement game. Win this, and all of a sudden the competition goes all oh, Adelaide's the one. <laughs> I don't. I don't know about that. I think it, footy, footy's footy. Anything can happen on any given day. So I think whoever rocks up Friday night, um, wanting it more is is probably going to come out on top. You've pretty much had a, you know a, a dream run as a crow so far. How difficult was being the 
they drop for a few weeks? Was that, was that the challenging moment for you? Yeah, 100 per cent. I think um, any athlete you ask, uh, if they have to go through that. It's challenging, it's difficult, um, it's, you know, it, it makes you reset. Like, I, I definitely, you know, I, I went and spoke to the sports psych and, and just mentally wanted to get myself in the right um, mindset. Um, so for me, it was actually, I think maybe first two games, I, I was playing with, a, uh, I guess, less confidence. I had a bit of self-doubt creep in, which, which happens, which is, which is natural um, as a human. So um, for me, it was a really good reset um, for my mindset and then kind of gone, OK, how can I get better? How can I get myself back in the team? So um, just kind of went to work, really. And um, yeah, it's been, I've been enjoying every moment now that I'm back and hopefully I can stay there. Self-doubt come from your... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, self-doubt. I think, um, yeah, like I said, I think if you ask most humans, <laughs> they, they have self-doubt every, every now and then. And I think it's just, um, I guess in a way, I probably started to believe those stories in my head. Um, so how quickly could I get those stories out? Go on, MJ, that's, that's just... I, I called it a shit show, but <laughs> that's a shit show. Get rid of it. Um, so, yeah, and then move on. So, so what have you done to address... <laughs> uh, the fact that, um, I, yeah, that, like I said, those stories that I was telling myself and just when I start to tell myself those stories again, just go, no, 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 put that aside. Um, like you said, I am a premiership player, dual premiership player. I, I am good. I, you know, I've got the skills. I've done the work. Um, I've got that belief in me. Where do they start from, MJ? Oh, I think it's just mistakes. Like, and it, it, uh, Doc talks about it. Mistakes are a great thing because it's how you re react to them. Um, but I think once you kind of make one mistake and then you make another and, you, you know, you just get down on yourself and you beat yourself up in internally. So it's, it's not beating yourself up. It's going, yeah, that's a mistake. So be it. Push it aside and, and go win the next footy. So. And now where are you at? Yeah, I'm, I feel back. good. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, so I feel, um, like I said, it was a, it was a good mindset reset for me um, and so again I'm just I'm loving I, I, Chelsea always says that I, I'm always the one running out with a big smile on my face but I feel like that smile is a little bit bigger th these few few weeks so hopefully I can uh, keep working hard and keep getting better.